So hi there, so today's class is what I've called an evil flow. It's a creative power vinyasa class. We are going to get straight into the flow. So I would recommend that you're warmed up, whether you're warming up with some sun salutations or whether whatever you would use a normal practice warm up to be. So when you come to the top of your mat with me in a moment, your body's warm and receptive to the class. So we're going to come to a standing into Tadasana. And just to find a little bit of grounding and earthing through our feet. So just spreading the toes out. I like to think like a Mexican wave with my feet. Nice, easy, open feeling about the chest. Shoulders are back and down, raising the arms. Inhale. Taking a fold forward, exhale, Uttanasana. Lift the chest halfway, let your fingertips rest on your shins. Back is long and flat. Fold to the legs, exhale. Taking a breath in, sweeping the arms all the way up. And coming into a chair pose. We're going to cross our left leg over our right leg and find an eagle with our legs. Whether your toes rest on the floor for balance or whether you go a little deeper into those eagle legs. As you push your arms to the back of the mat, take your left leg with you and come into a warrior three. Step your leg back, bring your back foot to the floor, come up into warrior one. From your warrior one, reaching the arms forward, stepping back to plank. And finding your vinyasa to suit your warm up and heat, chaturanga or knees, into cobra or up facing dog. We're going to tuck our left toes under and take our right leg high into three limb down facing dog. Bend your knee, bring your knee to your opposite elbow, to your left elbow. Cross that leg around your left thigh like eagle and push back into this eagle variation of downward facing dog. Bring your right knee to your right elbow, to your same elbow. And send that leg high into three limb down facing dog. Bend your knee again and bring your foot in between your hands. Your back foot to the floor. And let's come up into a new warrior one. Arms are coming forward in line with your shoulders. Wrap your right arm underneath your left. And let's eagle our arms this time. So arms are sort of full and open and high. We're taking a little sort of dive over our front thigh. Drawing our elbows towards our stomach and curling in. And then lifting the inhale as we bring our arms high and distance away from our face. Let's do that again. Curling it in, breath out. And lifting high, breath in. One more, last one. Breathing out. And breathing in. As you come back to your eagle arms, circle your arms up. Inhale, worry one. And open that to worry to. So you're going to rest your arm on your thigh, your calf or your mat with your left arm straight above you into angle pose, going deeper into your hips if it's there for you. Exhaling your left arm long. Turning to face your front leg, both hands inside of your foot. You may need to wiggle your right foot out of the way. Onto your back toes, lizard lunge. We take one press up down into our lizard lunge, bringing our shoulder underneath our knee. And you can stay there or you're going to wrap your right arm around the back of your hip, maybe your waist. And if it is in your practice, we're going to bring your left arm behind you as well to bind. From that bound lizard lunge, both hands come in inside of your leg and straighten your right leg, lift your chest. Swap your right hand back. Step your left leg in a little closer. So you've got weight in both legs here. Right hand on your foot or maybe a block if you use one. Let's take our left arm up as we open out into this sort of cute little variation of triangle pose and head to knee pose. As that hand comes back down, both hands in front of your foot, lift your back leg into your standing splits. Whether your leg is at hip height or higher, and if it's in your practice, find the back of your ankle with your hands and just bow to that leg, stand in splits. Bringing both hands to the mat, lift the chest and step your left leg back beside your right leg. Bend your knees and find your chair pose. Cross your right leg over your left into your eagle pose. Taking your eagle pose and sending that all the way back to your warrior three. Stepping back, sometimes a little cautious, a little messy. Come up into your warrior one. 
and take a vinyasa with me through to plank. Knees or Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog or just stick with your cobra. Tuck your right toes under, extend your left leg high. Three limb down facing dog. Bend your knee, bring your knee to your opposite elbow, your right elbow. Hook that leg around your right thigh, eagle wing to your down facing dog. Bring your left knee to your left elbow and take your leg high, inhale. Bring that leg through between your hands, your back foot to the floor and come with me into a new warrior one. Your arms are coming forward, your left arm hooks your right. We're finding our eagle arms. Going deeper into your legs if it's there for you, just taking that bow over your front thigh, eagle to your stomach and then bring the arms high back to the height of your shoulders. Curling in, breath out, and lifting high, making sure that back leg is strong. And maybe on this third one, we can get a little deeper into our legs and come back to your eagle arms. Circle your arms up, breath in, warrior one. Open that out to your warrior two. Taking side angle pose, whether your arm is on your thigh or your hand is deeper to your mat. Extending your right arm long, side angle pose. From heel on the mat to fingernails, all this upward energy. Turning to face your front leg, maybe that left foot needs to swig a little wider into your lizard lunge. Hands on the mat if you're coming with me. We drop down into one press up here. Just bring your left arm and bind it underneath the back of your left knee or thigh. And if it's in your practice, take your right arm behind. Link your hands together. Now as we move a little quicker with the breath in a moment, we'll leave this bind out. Both hands coming back inside of your front leg. Straighten your front leg. Bring your hand back beside your, your little toe and step your back foot in just a little bit closer. Your left hand on your foot or your block if you're using. Your right arm lifts and feel you've got movement and rotation. As you look at your hand with your eyes, try not to feel stuck holding onto that foot. Try and move, lift to look at your hand with your eyes, with your heart. Bringing both hands either side of your front leg. Lift your back leg off the mat, standing splits. And if it's in your practice, you're holding the back of your calf or ankle and you're bowing deeper into your standing front leg. Both hands come into the mat, lift the chest and bring those legs together. Bend your knees. Inhale, straighten the legs, sweep the arms up. Let's take a vinyasa, exhale, fold forwards. Lift the chest again, step or jump to plank. Vinyasa through chaturanga, up facing dog and downward facing dog. Exhale. Let's have a little bit of a pause breath here. So we're gonna work just a little bit quicker. One movement, one breath. Rise to your toes, bend your knees, stretch back to your thighs. Step or jump to that bend knee squat position. Circle the arms up, chair pose. Left leg hooks over the right into eagle. Extend it back into your warrior three. Step back, back foot to ground, circle the arms up. Warrior one. Arms are coming forward, step back to plank pose. Chaturanga into up facing dog. Left toes tuck, right leg lifts. Three limb down facing dog. Your knee coming to your opposite elbow. It's hooking around your left thigh, eagle your down facing dog. Bring your right knee to your right elbow. Send your leg high, three limb down facing dog. Bring your foot between your hands, your back foot to the floor and inhale up into your warrior one. Bringing your arms forward, right arm underneath your left eagle arms. One time with that dip, let's dip our elbows to our stomach and lift our elbows back, our eagle arms high. Circle the arms up, warrior one. Open to your warrior two. 
side angle pose wherever you feel confident and comfortable. Turn to face your front leg, pivot to your back toes, lizard lunge. One press up as we drop down, inhale and push back, exhale, straighten your right leg, swap your hands. Back foot steps in so your back foot is grounded, right hand on your foot or block, left arm lifts as we open into our cute little triangle pose. Both hands down in front of your toes, lift your left leg into your standing splits and step both feet together, bending your knees. Sweeping your arms up, chair pose. Your right leg crosses your left leg. Can you go deeper? Send your legs back, come into your warrior three. Step back with your right foot. Inhale, circle the arms, warrior one. Bringing the arms forward, let's vinyasa together, plank pose. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up facing dog. Right toes tuck, left leg lifts high. Knee to opposite elbow as we tap, left knee, right elbow. Hook that leg and eagle your down facing dog. Bring your knee to your same elbow and send that leg high, breath in. Bring your foot between your hands, back foot to the floor. And as you inhale, circle the arms, coming into your warrior one. Arms are coming forward, left arm wraps right as we eagle out our arms. And then we just bow to that front leg, elbows to stomach. And then lifting the arms high to the line of your shoulders. Circle the arms back into your warrior. And open to your warrior two. Side angle pose wherever you're confident and comfortable. Turning to face your left leg. Little movement with that left leg, lizard lunge. One press up, down, and back to straight arms. Swap your hand over, straighten both legs, and step your back foot in a little closer. Left hand on your foot or block, right arm raises as we twist. Both hands down, facing the top end of your mat, lifting your right leg into your standing splits. Flexing out through your heel, bringing your feet together. Bend your knees, circle the arms up. Chair pose. Let's take a last vinyasa, Uttanasana, forward fold. Lift the chest to gaze, back is long. Step or jump to your plank. Chaturanga Dandasana, inhale, find up facing dog or cobra. And exhale to downward facing dog. And we're back here. This morning, this afternoon, this evening, whatever it is for you there today. I hope you enjoyed that little flow. And then when you get comfortable with it, try doing maybe another round, if I can call it a round or two. And just get a nice flow and rhythm going. Rise to your toes, bend your knees, stretch back to your hips, look at your hands. And just if you can, do a little jump in and come to a seated. Extending the legs out in front of you. Coming into Daniels. So now we're just going to make a little diamond shape with the legs like this. And then almost like a little child's pose. Just sort of find your way into the space there between your hips and knees. Bow your head. Maybe a little power weight against the inner knees and thighs to just target your hips here. And I would imagine that the space I have here between my ribcage and the inside of my knees. If I took a warm enough and a deep enough breath, I could feel that space with my diaphragm, with my breath. And then slowly coming in, just drawing the legs back in, coming back to where we started. And thank you so much for, for trying that class with me. Um, have a, a wonderful day, whatever you're doing. And I will see you again soon. Take care. So let's take a shoulder roll together. We're going to take a breath in and as we breathe in, we're going to catch all that positive in our hands and exhale the positive all the way down. Namaste to our heart and thank you so much. Take care.